What is up, MFers? Freaking Jack for the video today. Uh, somewhere back behind us in this tall grass is what we're gonna be fishing today, and that is a very small micro creek with very, very clean water, and it's loaded with fish. Bass, pike, all different types of fish that I think are really gonna like what we're gonna be using for bait today, which is gonna be something a little bit different than our usual bigger tackle route. We are only using micro bug type lures uh, in this one box. This is all I brought for tackle today. I brought one spinning rod with braid on it. I'll show you guys that in a little bit, and we'll kind of go through these baits. But this is the right time to do this. We got, you can hear them back behind me. There's big bugs everywhere. There's grasshoppers, cicadas, frogs that hatch out this spring. I think it's an awesome time to get out, throw some of these micro baits right here. So the goal today, catch a fish on all of them. Let's go to this little spillway, this creek back here, tie one of these guys on. I'll show you guys what we brought to use for the challenge today. Freaking Jack. Oh All right, guys, here's the box of baits I brought to use. I'll show you the, the ones we used previously. Got this micro frog lure, which was very, very successful. It's a little itty bitty tiny guy. Um, got the spider dude, which isn't in the best shape. He sinks a little bit, but still very, very good option. There's a lot of spiders out around the area right now. Got this fly, I don't know. This is one I've never used before that's super, super light. So hopefully I'm able to cast it. I do have very, very light braid on my rod, um, but I don't know, kind of a frog fly type looking lure. Pretty cool looking guy. And then we got this cicada guy. I believe this is, I don't know, we'll have to get that guy taken apart, but looks like one of those wobbling type baits that we've been using lately. Um, of course, the old standby grasshopper popper that's at like every Walmart ever. And the old school. We went old school with a little micro hula popper. I don't know what that looks like exactly. Maybe a little bait fish, maybe a little bug, but regardless, I think it could get some bites. Now, since I hear them back here buzzing and everything, I've seen a bunch of my driveway and stuff all over the place. I think what we're gonna start with is this guy right here. Old Mr. Cicada looking dude. Pretty badass looking bait. Let's see if it catch some fish. All these areas down here by the creek where there's been a bunch of deer bedding. Hopefully we don't sneak up along. That scared the hell out of me. Didn't bring my gat. God dang, these grass is tall. Like I was telling you guys, we gotta kind of be stealthy because this uh, water's super, super clean in this creek. So we're just gonna kind of work our way down here quietly, starting this little pool behind this little ripple right here, and then we're gonna work our way up to the spillway type area. Before I cast up in the juice, I kind of want to see what this guy looks like in the water. Looks like nothing because it got fouled. Perfect. Oh yeah, just kind of wobbles. Kind of a cool bait. Let's see if we can go on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was so badass. First cast up above this little spillway, not spillway, this little riffle right here. This guy got crushed. So obviously there's fish up here. I've been thrown to this little spot. There was nothing. Let's see if he bites again. Got him, got him. Yes. You're gonna have to pull him down the waterfall. <laughs> so sick. Not a big one, but he sucked old Mr. Cicada in. Now I did bring some pliers, guys, so I'm hopefully not gonna get hooked in the finger this time. No, no guarantees, of course, but I'm not gonna chop this guy off quite yet. I think I'm gonna catch maybe another fish on it. See how it wobbles in this water before I cut it off and try a different bait, but not a giant. There he goes. I love throwing big rods, big baits for big bass, but something about coming back to my roots and fishing these little creeks is so much fun on light tackle. Again, this is the little cicada type bug. It's got these wings, so it just kind of wobbles back and forth through the water. Kind of tough to tell in the current right here, but basically just does that over the top of the water. And uh, here's the rod and reeler rod. It's my, my MF for series spinning rod um, that will be out soon. Shimano Noski 1000 size reel which like I was telling you guys before, I get all my reels at shopcarls.com because you get them cheaper than anywhere else. I'll link it down below. But if you become a member, like this reel was like 40 bucks cheaper than anywhere I could find it online. Super smooth drag, of course, because it's a Shimano. It's always, Shimano spinning reels are about as good as it freaking gets. And this one's a really good one for, I think it's only like a hundred dollar reel. And with that discount, it's like 60. So yeah, definitely a, a fan of it. But let's catch another one or a piece of grass, apparently. We'll tie a different bait on. There we go. There's another one. Oh man. Hookups definitely are not great on cicada. I think the hooks are just really small and the bait's kind of good size, but they're definitely biting it. I want to catch one on something else. So let's, let's see what else we got in our box. Tie some new one. All right. Next attempt. Let's go with the micro 
hula popper. This guy only has a one hook on the bottom. Big skirt. It's a tiny hook. Not a very big bait. Definitely not going to cast as well. That uh, the cicada was actually kind of heavy. Cast really well. I only got eight pound braid on though. That's something I didn't tell you guys. So lighter the braid, softer the tip, the better you can cast these little baits. So I definitely recommend that if you're going to be picking a rod. And I got the perfect setup for it. But there we go. The old micro hula. Oh yeah. This guy's a freaking pond killer. You guys fish a lot of ponds and want like a little tiny topwater bait. That's like what made the hula popper famous. I'm trying to stay back here because uh, last time I was here they were just stacked up there by the spillway. So hopefully that's the case again today. But this guy looks super good. Looks a lot like anything little that would fall in the lake creek here. And that guy approved. Oh, this is a baby. This guy's tiny. <laughs> Boom. Micro hula popper. I actually kind of like that it only has one hook on it because it's going to keep me from getting a hook in my fingers easy. Just a little baby guy. But I'm kind of, uh, kind of micro fishing today, so sweet. I like it. Oh, well, that's a better one. That one freaking crushed it right when I hit the water. <laughs> no action necessary. Love it. Oh, he's going downstream. See, bud? I don't know where you think you're going. Locking down. Come here, dickhead. He's a lot stronger than his size indicates, apparently. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. Well, see you later, bud. Go be angry somewhere else. Thanks for the fight. Sweet. All right, we got two baits down with two fish on each. We didn't catch two on the first one, but we had two bites. I kind of want to try that, uh, that fly, that frog fly now. All right, we're off to a super good start. First two baits, we caught fish on a multiple fish, multiple blow ups. I was honestly kind of nervous because We've had a really big cool down here in town the last few days. It's only like 65, 70 degrees today. Sun's up, middle of the day, and they're still crushing these little bug looking baits. Next one up we're gonna try is uh, probably the most prominent bug I've seen walking through the grass, the old hopper grass popper type lure. This is the one that looks like a dollar at every Walmart ever, I believe. Uh, I think it's made by Rebel, but um, I think this can be a really good imitator. I kind of want to use, like I said, all the new baits I haven't used before, before we move on to like the, the spider and the micro frog. Um, just kind of try them all out, see which one they like best, and then hopefully whatever one that's best and they're biting the best, I feel like, uh, is the most effective for fishing this. We'll just kind of stick with it and hopefully go catch a bunch more fish. Let's try the hopper. Not sure how well Mr. Grasshopper is going to cast, but we will see. Oh, we already hooked the line. Perfect. How convenient. Ah, right, we're good. We're good. Let's do it. Cast pretty well, actually. Oh, God, that came, I came across the creek and caught it. Oh, he came off. <laughs> it was like two bites as soon as this dude hit the water. They must be freaking stacked in there. I bet we can catch another one right away if I don't cast like an idiot. <sighs> we made a bad cast. Typically. <laughs> Alright. Hits the water, catch fish. This is a tough place to catch them, that's for sure. There's hardly any. <laughs> this guy might be the best one yet. It's crazy. Nope, he's not. He's just out of his mind. He's gonna really try to put that hook in my finger. But we're gonna be good. Here we go. Another one on the little hopper grass. Alright, let's, let's catch one more and then switch up. I want like I said, I wanna try that fly frog looking lure. I've never caught a fish on something that looks like that before. Oh he thought it was real. Sweet. Hey, buddy. I know you're not big, but I know you, you fight hard. You're going to be big someday. Hopefully this creek's got enough food. There's bluegill everywhere. Bugs and stuff, of course. To make you grow big, but sick. Grasshopper works. Let's throw the frog. All right, here's this frog fly guy with the old crazy eyes on him. It's got this little piece of uh, monofilament, big, thick monofilament that makes it look weedless. I'm kind of worried that's going to hurt our hookups, but it'll probably also help me for when I make a terrible cast like I have been. I'm honestly not sure how much, how well this guy's going to cast though. Oh yeah, I think we're going to have to get up a little bit closer because this guy weighs very little. Obviously made for a fly rod, which we don't have yet. We're going to have to get up there. Let's go up to the spillway and kind of let it float down the stream. I like that idea. Okay, time to be extra stealthy because these fish are going to be looking upstream right at us now. So we're coming way wide. I want to try right where the water's pouring in first. Oh, there's a bass right there. Oh, 
Something freaking crushed it down there. Oh my god, I gotta get in there. You got it, you got it. <laughs> Hope you guys are seeing this. I can see the bass a little bit now. It's not ultra, ultra clean water. Look at that, he freaking choked that thing. I was worried about the hookups on this. I don't think I'll worry too much when they eat it that far down. Not a big one, once again. Freaking cool though, so cool. Mm. <laughs> They're still there, I thought I spooked them all. Got him. I got couldn't resist it. Just starting to see them all funnel back out to that back part. <laughs> yes. Yes, this is freaking cool. Large fan. Alright, let's switch baits. Okay guys, Uno Moss bait and we will have caught fish. Two fish actually on every bait that I brought today. And this last one is gonna be the micro frog. Real quick, before we tie that on, uh, we get down and hopefully go catch some more fish on it. I wanna tell you guys or, or talk to you guys about something that actually made me super concerned cancer-wise for the mf -er nation. So when I was down in Texas fishing with Casey um, a couple weeks ago, we were fishing in like 108 degree heat in the sun all day. And we were wearing these Sola sun gloves, uh, the six cents, they're brand new. Uh, and, and we were out there wearing them all, all day long. And a lot of you guys were commenting on there uh, because we're wearing them with like t-shirts a lot of the time. You thought we were just wearing them to look cool or like pimp the product, try to sell a bunch of stuff and make money or something. And it was just corny and we were just doing it to make money. Now, of course, I want you guys to go buy six cents products. I use them in every freaking video. In my opinion, they catch fish better than everything else. And I love their apparel as well. Got the shirt on, the, the sun shirt on today as well as the gloves. But I want you guys know the reason for that is that you, your hands, the back of your hands are actually the most susceptible place on your entire body uh, to get cancer, to get skin cancer. And so wearing these gloves, it, it's not to look cool, it's to protect your skin. I'm out in the sun every freaking day, so that's why I'm wearing them. Even on a day like today, where it's sunny and it's cloudy, but it's still bright outside, really, really important to protect your hands. It's something that a lot of people don't think about. They wear sun shirts like these or neck buffs and stuff like that, but these gloves are super, super important. So that's why I'm wearing them. I'll link them down below. But yeah, looked a little silly maybe, me wearing a t-shirt, but we were talking about it this last weekend kind of concerned for like the general public that that many people didn't understand your hands are that susceptible to the sun but uh i'm gonna stop rambling now anyways and uh get back to hopefully catching some you guys know what time it is spider time i already caught him at this creek really good on this if you guys watched the video a couple weeks ago always fun to come back try it again this time i'm throwing it on a spinning rod so i'm definitely gonna have to get a little bit harder hook set in it yeah he likes it come get it oh he got it out of the foam <laughs> yes Yep, dirty spider eater. I was just about to say, the spider's kind of seen better days, so it's sinking a lot, but it's almost better because there's a lot of fish that are underneath this foam down here that can't even see my other topwater bits because they're so finessey. So this guy's sinking down into it a little bit. It's actually helping. Let's see if we can get another one of the foam, and then we're tying that last baby mini itcher frog on. Got him. I saw that guy kind of sneak up behind it. Look at that, freaking spiders destroyed it's way up the line spider eater all right microfruge i've had more bites down there i've only caught bass but i've had bluegill looking at it almost every cast especially that fly type lure they really wanted that dude let's see though what we can make happen here maybe there's a bass right there i think he just fed too oh he sees it come get it buddy nope nope didn't do it. Ah, I missed it. Didn't get the hook. Definitely in this grass, though. There we oh, no. Oh, we needed that guy. This is the last bit we need to catch one on. It's been the toughest. The other ones I was catching them, like, right away. Now I have to work for him because these guys have all been spooked. They've all seen me. I thought maybe moving down here further down the creek again and pulling them more natural with the current, we could get this last fish to go on the frog. Not so far. Finally had a couple bites. Just didn't get a hook in them. Oh, no. Oh, I should let him take it. God, I've had like 10 bites on this frog now. I haven't got a hook in them yet. 
which is weird because when I tested it last time, it hooked like every one of them. There we go. Just don't let him take it. Oh, no. No. Well, we're not having very good luck, guys, keeping a hook in them. So maybe the old micro frog would not be the best bait for you guys to throw in a situation like this. Get out of there. Lost another one. All right. Drag's cranking down. I don't know what the deal is. It's weird. I don't like it. We're probably running out of fish in there to catch that haven't been caught already. We're not doing great. We need to make her happen. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Is this the one? We did it! Yes. The microbug frog spider type challenge slam is complete. Hell yes. Must have gotten fired up in there. I got bit like five casts in a row. Finally got a good enough hook in the fish. To get them all the way to the bank. Okay, I'm Eppers. Caught fish on every single bait. I think I'm gonna wrap it up, head home. Actually, I think I'm gonna go film another video. I need you guys to do something though. Comment down below. Let me know if you wanna see more of these micro fishing, creek fishing type bait videos. Uh, and also let me know what your favorite bait was from the entire video that you're gonna go try out right now. I'll link everything I use in the video down below, like that really cheap reel that's awesome for creek fishing. And of course, these Solix sun gloves if you guys are spending a lot of time out there in the sun. But uh, yeah, if you like the video, go subscribe right down below and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here in that bird.